The one with the healthiest brain wins. The one who invests in their mind, who buys the books, who seeks the knowledge, is the one who wins as it all compounds into their favor. Think about the person who is watching this that is jealous of another person's success. Perhaps they're a YouTuber, right? And they want to get to a million subscribers and they see that person who's at a million subscribers and they're like, what the fuck are they at there? Like they don't deserve to be there. They're just posting like bullshit. I could do way better than them, right? That is coming from a jealous standpoint, right? Whereas a person with a healthy mindset with the healthiest brain would be like, that's cool that that person who's talking about a similar thing to me is, has got a, fact, a million subscribers. If they can do it, I can do it too, right? That's more of a healthier mind state. Same thing with like eating junk food. The, per the person who has a tough day at work and then comes home and is just tired, slouching on the couch, and then for an instant gratification hit, they decide to go to the uh, store and buy biscuits, chocolate, etc., to give them some kind of satisfaction after a long shit day of work. That person is just gonna get fatter, get diabetes, get heart disease, all these different ailments that come from eating like shit. Whereas someone with a healthy mind state would then come home and be like, okay, look, I've had a long day work, but I know that this junk food is gonna only hurt me even more. So let me get a really high protein meal put in me right now with some fruit, with some vegetables, with some slow burning carbs, at least I won't feel sluggish and then I can do other stuff. I can play with my kid. I can speak to my wife. I can um, go out for a walk. I can go out for a bike ride. I can work on a project after work so that I'm never in a situation for the rest of my life working at a job that I hate. That is what's possible from a healthy mind state. The unhealthy person would bring all these negative issues over the long run because it will compound over the long run. But we're not taught this. We're not like, um, we think, oh, we can just be like this, be negative or whatever, or not have a imaginary guard on our mind and just let whatever thoughts come in fester and it turns into something negative, like a negative spiral. But if you always stand guard at the entry of your mind and vet the thoughts that come in, you can decide that, okay, this thought is destructive, I'm gonna push it away. And this thought is actually, oh, good one, so I'm gonna implement this, take this thought in, implement it, action it and do it, and then um, get a good positive result in the long run. Now, that's the key word there, the long run. In the day-to-day, -day, it doesn't seem like nothing's happening. That needle isn't moving, the weight isn't shifting, you're not getting any stronger, you're not getting any healthier in the, in the short term, you're not getting any richer, but if you just keep compounding the small actions over a long period of time, that's where the real difference is made. That's where the millionaires start showing up or the people who are still broke and still complaining about bullshit in their lives, that's where they stay in that stagnant level. So it just demands about where you wanna be. Do you wanna have a healthy mind state or do you wanna have a destructive mind state? Anyway, I hope that helps and I'll catch you in the next video.